art of aiming a heavy ball at 10 pear-shaped pins down a narrow alley is actually the number one recreational sport in America. It's also a great way for guys to dress up cool. Okay, maybe not these guys. But sartorial splendor aside, it does take some serious skill to knock them over in the frames. Pro bowler Mike Fagan more than looks the part. He can bowl strike after strike, seemingly with ease and certainly with style. Well, people say that I've had one of the most unique releases in, uh, in bowling, and, and a lot of people ask me, you know, how do you do it? And sometimes I just don't know how. I mean, I, it just comes natural to me. It is our ongoing mission at Time Warp to take the natural and break it down into component parts. As everything does have a scientific explanation. But it's important never to let the scientific mojo get in the way of the natural magic. As every bowler, or really every athlete, can tell you. Are you consciously thinking of the physics as you take a swing? No, no, no. I have to turn my brain off in order to, to bowl well. You just okay. have to kind of go back to your instincts and, and let it happen. Hard to argue mental preparation with a 300-pointer, but what about the rest of us? What exactly needs to happen to turn this into this over and over again? A lot, actually. More than 100 muscles work together to master the transfer of momentum from the body to the ball to the bash. What's Mike's secret? I have a pretty loose arm swing. I try to keep my hand on the inside of the ball at all times and delay that until it's very possible, then come up through underneath the ball. But you're actually cradling the weight with your entire hand. Exactly. Just before their hand releases the ball, Great bowlers, like Mike, put a spin on things by using lots of power and some rotation. By you preloading in a rotation and ending flat, you're most likely to have it go straight with your arm where you're aiming. So, does knowing the laws of physics mean you can easily put them to use? Not always. Nobody oh, had their own style. Look a little tense out there. Well, this is my center of mass balance system. Sounds good in theory. I do nothing like what you do. I'm releasing directly from the top. Well, now that we've identified that little problem, let's take a closer look at the journey of the ball itself. Beyond his technique, Mike relies on a thin coat of oil covering only the front portion of a lane. All lanes are oiled to protect their surface from being battered by the balls. But the last few feet, known as the back end, are kept dry to promote traction. I didn't even know that they consciously didn't oil the last X feet specifically to let you work on that traction. It would be very difficult <laughs> without that, yeah. Right, it would never grab, it would just go exactly. down the eight line. The first part of Mike's throw is all about getting the ball down the alley with enough force to override most of the spin. When friction is incurred at the dry end of the lane, the ball's rotation takes over, causing it to veer toward the center pins with the destructive force of a spinning tornado. That's pretty cool. It's a great view. You really kick all the rotation into it at the last moment, and it seems like through this entire shot, that rotation is just waiting to have an effect. It doesn't do anything until the last, you know, 10 or 12 feet. Exactly. Most people aim straight for the center pin, but it's actually not the best approach to guarantee a strike. As we've seen, Mike likes to throw curveballs, where the spin from the release causes an arc towards the pins. Yeah, it's, re it's really amazing. You know, most people don't think of sports as physics exercises, but really, how could you redefine what bowling is? Bowling is trying to most efficiently get the momentum of the ball into as many different pins as possible. And you know, we don't have to do it by sitting down with equations, we do it by muscle training and by learning angles and by practicing. 
no physics, no nothing can explain this next all-important part of the bowling process. The wardrobe. Right, Pay attention, because we might pick up something that will help you on tour. This is the good stuff. I think it's a double-A battery. This is a good kind of cigar. Here's the release, and... The secret to Matt's mediocre performance. What are you using the cigar for? It's just counterweight. Helps to keep me perfectly balanced. No comment. Coming up next, two of nature's most distinctive sounds. One you might hear every 17 years. One you never want to hear reveal their trade secrets. I thought the individual segments were gonna clank against each other. As do our fearless stuntmen. Did you taste it? The blood? When Time Warp returns.